So USolar is a 14-year-old company. We were established in 2010. And uh, so far we have been involved in installation of about 250 megawatt of solar power plants. Our vision is by 2030 to be involved with or deploy at least about 3 gigawatt of uh, solar plants. Uh, this is both on uh, EPC as well as asset ownership. Um, the split may be about uh, 300 megawatt of ownership and the remaining as EPC. We have actually been in, uh, involved with several uh, groundbreaking projects. Uh, we were the first to sign up a rooftop PPA way back in 2013, where we uh, signed up a power purchase agreement with a, a commercial space developer in Chennai, where we sold the energy. That was very new then. Uh, this was way back, almost 10 years ago. Um, we were also the uh, we also set up the largest uh, BIPV solar plant uh, in India, as probably in the world. Uh, it's about uh, 900 kilowatt in Navi Mumbai for a data center. This was about uh, four years ago, and um, just two days ago we got awarded uh, <coughs> a project in Sri Lanka where uh, we're going to set up uh, solar plus wind plus battery storage for three islands off the coast of Jaffna. This is a Government of India funded project and uh, this has really helped all the communities there who are running entirely on diesel generators. So I think um, in our journey we have done a lot of firsts um, and you know as a solar provider we like to you know, see where solar is applicable and just try to deploy. That's really how we look at things. So I think um, uh, as a company, our heart is in rooftop solar or distributed solar. Uh, but what we do see a lot of challenges in that, you know, staying exclusively on that space. Um, these are mostly regulatory in nature. Uh, so what we intend to do is also um, uh, go in for storage solutions. We see that as an emerging trend in the next three to five years. Uh, in this case, what would happen is um, the um, customer would generate solar power during the day, use it, and the air surplus would actually get stored and used uh, in the evening hours where the tariffs are much higher. This is a solution we are working on. Um, we have deployed it in a couple of places, but uh, there is a lot of demand uh, we see in the future. So storage is one area we will be looking into. We might also look into BIPV solutions where uh, we work with um, we work with architects to set up B BIPV solutions um, from the planning stage itself for a building. Um, so we will be looking at some of these innovations in the coming years. Um, we are of course also looking at open access projects but that a lot of people are doing today, so.